Situate him. Hey, Rock, kill him, Rock. Kill him. Wait, get up! Get up! You got this shit! Get up! Get out of the way! Get up, knock Rock out. Get up, Rock. Get up! Situate him. Hey, Rock, kill him, Rock. Damn, man. It's going to be hard for that man to come back from this one, y'all. With all the allegations that's going on and shit with the Diddy situation. Yeah, man, it's going to be hard as hell, man. After this point, this man just going to have to shut the fuck up, man. man he can't say nothing else, man. Because all roads is leading back to that first audio that we heard. You know what I'm saying? That ain't the most masculine tone of voice that you want to be cheering somebody on. And the man sound like a middle-aged white woman being assaulted in a dark alley. Help! Man was out there screaming, talking about, get up! I mean, he know a lot about being trapped down, you know what I'm saying? It looked like that he knows a lot, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to help the rock out in that situation. This man is an expert on being held down against his will. Yeah, man, he may not there sound like that he was out there reliving an incident or something like that. I mean, don't somebody want to yell out to Meek Mill and tell him that wrestling is fake? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they acting out there. I mean, I know when you was getting held down, there wasn't no acting involved. That was some real life shit, but damn, man, I mean, this ain't even real, bro. It's talking about situate yourself, Rock. Nah, man, situate yourself, man. You was out there sounding like a victim, man. You out there supposed to be enjoying the wrestling match, and you sounding like you getting your ass tag team. I don't know what type of situation is you was in Meek Mill, but I don't think it's pertaining to this wrestling match at all. Uh-uh. Nah, not the situations that you talking about. Them situations that you've been in sound a little tragedy.